Another trend that we've seen, more kids getting this virus. The percentage of cases among kids and teens, that is up nearly 4% since last month. And school slated to start in about a month. Districts are still working to finalize their plan, including Hillsborough, who might push back the start date two weeks. But even so, teachers, they're uneasy about going back to the classroom, and you can understand why. And as 10 Tampa Bay's Liz Crawford found out, some teachers, they're preparing living wills. This is my, um, this is Lincoln Heritage. This is my envelope. This is the, the new updated information that I got. Shawanda Bonner Morgan is a middle school teacher in Polk County. She's terrified of being back in the classroom and possibly catching the coronavirus. This is an increase to my life insurance policy that I had actually bought a couple of years ago. And I just thought a few weeks ago, honestly, with the, the death of a friend from COVID, um, the passing of another friend, just a week and a half before her, it got me to thinking, where am I, you know, with these things? She's not alone. A St. Petersburg attorney said nearly 400 teachers have reached out to him about preparing their living wills before the first day of school. To hear teachers say, um, gosh, I need a living will to go back to school now, that struck a chord. And you know, I wanted to, to, to help if we could. So Charles Gallagher posted on Facebook that his firm would prepare living wills for Florida teachers free of charge. Let me run this by my husband and see if this is something that we can, you know, we can look into. The legal document names what actions should be taken for one's health if they're no longer able to make decisions for themselves. We can provide that assistance to, to the teachers and give them a little more security. The president of the Florida Education Association sent us a statement. It said in part, educators are scared. Teachers and support staff have real and justifiable concerns. It's tragic that many are facing the first day of school with fear when back to school should be the happiest and most hopeful time of the year.